also concerned, and I see often that, for example, a president comes in and he hires, he or she hires people who are on their staff to, uh, on their campaign staff to go get into the government and then <clears throat> they leave and become um, lobbyists and there's like this, I've heard the word revolving door mm -hmm. and um, I think we've seen it again and again and I'm wondering how, what would you do as president? Would you, would you be electing some, getting some people here today on, on board in your executive, uh, in the executive branch? You and volunteering? Then, uh, no. <laughs> 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 I'm sure they would not. You like it up here. Um, all right. <laughs> so what... Uh, Listen, I think the revolving door is a huge problem and you need... And, and I talked about campaign finance in response to his question before, so I'm not going to repeat myself. But on the revolving door issue, listen, you have to set those standards for your administration about what's acceptable and what's not. And the president, by executive order, has the ability to do that. To say, listen, if you come and work in my administration, for the period of time that I'm president, you can't come back and lobby the administration. And, and you should say that to folks. Um, now, that's going to restrict you from certain folks wanting to come into government, but that's the way it goes. People have to make the decision about whether they want to serve or they don't want to serve. And so the ability to, to have, go in and out that way just has to be restricted. It should be restricted by executive order by the president. And if I were president, that's exactly what I would do.